Hello everyone, welcome to Option View. Today we will set up Option View with using a cloud drive. We had previously recommended installing the Option View program directly on the local cloud drive, but several users brought it to our attention that Option View would time out when ran this way and would lock up the Option View program. So in response to those concerns, we are updating our cloud drive recommendations. Before we begin, please be sure to have a viable cloud drive installed on each computer where you have Option View installed. As you can see on my computer, I have Google Drive installed. The instructions in this video will, for the most part, work with any cloud drive, for example, OneDrive, Dropbox, iCloud, etc. You just might have to tweak some of these steps depending on your cloud drive of choice. I know that many of you already have a cloud drive installed on your computer and the only thing I would impress upon you is to ensure that your local cloud drive is in fact syncing correctly with all your other devices having the cloud drive installed. Without the sync running properly, the information in this video will not work. Next, you will need to have Option View installed on each computer. You are allowed to have the Option View program on as many computers as you like. Just keep in mind that you can only be logged in to one instance of Option View at any given time. So, if you haven't already done so, please install Option View on any other computer you will be using. Now, we need to set up an Option View work folder on the local cloud drive that will contain the needed subfolders so we will have up-to-date access to our Option View accounts and data. On my computer, I have a folder called OV Work Folders on my Google Drive, which contain the folders and files I will be using on my other computer running Option View. Once my Cloud Drive work folder is created, I go to my local drive location for Option View. The default location is C colon backslash OpView8 and I copy the folders that I want to access on each computer. I recommend copying the following folders, Archive, Data, Hist, OpScan, and Records. I don't copy the BKGND, the background folder, since that folder contains daily files that are downloaded every time the Option View program is opened for the first time each new day. To copy my folders, all I do is highlight the folders I want by holding down the control key and then left click each folder. And then, when all the folders are highlighted, right click on one of them and select copy. The next step is to go to my work folder on the local cloud drive. Double click that folder to open it up and then right click inside the folder and then click on paste or you can just do a control V anywhere inside that empty folder and the folders will now copy to that location. Now the folders from your main computer are in your local cloud folder. After copying the folders, wait a minute or two and then verify that the folders were synced to your other cloud drives on your other devices. Now start the Option View program and then click on Settings, then Preferences, and then Folders. Your home folder should always be on your local drive. As stated previously, mine is located at C colon backslash OpView8. Click on the ellipsis box on the right side of each folder path field. Drill down to your local cloud drive to where each corresponding folder resides and select that folder name. Please note the following. Asset Files equals your data folder. Record Keeping Files equals your records folder. Historical Price Files equal your hist folder. Opscan Files equal your opscan folder. And Archive Files equal your archive folder. Click OK after entering all the path locations and you are now keeping your most current work folders on the cloud. You will need to do these exact steps on each computer that has the Option View program installed. As a side note, when I know I'm going to be using one of my other computers, I will copy certain program files from my main work computer to my local cloud drive. And then when I'm on my other computer, I will copy those files from my local cloud folder to my local Option View folder. 
These files are opview.ccl, opview.cf, opview.df, opview.wsp, and quotes.col. These are program files that contain formatting, defaults, matrix settings, login and password credentials, and most importantly, all of the tabs and symbols in the quotes display. By copying these files and placing them on my alternate PC, I make my alternate computer run option view as close as possible to my main work computer. Keep in mind, when you are done using your alternate computer, you will have to copy these files back to your original main work computer using these same steps. This concludes our demonstration of running Option View with a cloud drive. If you have any questions or would like a transcript of this presentation, please feel free to email us at tech at optionview.com or call Option View Tech Support at 847-816-6610. Thanks for listening. Have a good day.